Hey everyone, have I here bringing a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the EZA for LR Rosmasu for the global version of the game, do some team builds for you to complete the Extreme Z battle, things of that nature. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And yes, finally, global has its last OG 90 LR gets their EZA for some odd reason they ended up delaying LR Rosemasu and it's Rose and Zamasu for quite some time you look at the other EZAs to the OG 90s those have been EZA for quite some time but you know what good things happen for people who wait and they did an amazing job when they easy aid this unit here of course jp got this unit first but now finally global gets the easy a and here is all the breakdown here uh let's take a look at it so i'm actually making it a lot bigger so you guys can see i don't think you can see all this but you know being a lr easy a the stats don't change right 18.7 for hp 22,000, a whopping 22,000 for attack defense 14,000 as well so really really strong stats there so let's go ahead and make it a lot bigger for you to see here so again this being the last og90 you have the tech type key plus four hp and tech defense 120 percent for the leader skill the 12 key and the 18 key really is they should do more of this <laughs> that's really what i'm thinking because i think what they're doing here in the 12 key and the 18 key um really helps out this unit tremendously it's not a stacking per se unit but you are able to stack for a couple different turns when it comes to the essays and uh, the 12 key is raises attack for one turn causes cost limit damage to enemy and raises defense for three turns right so 30 percent boost three turns that's fantastic but if you're able to get an 18 key super attack off it's still the same raises attack for one turn causes mega colossal damage to enemy but then raises defense by 30 percent for six turns so you really you're getting a double stack here right and then you can possibly even like triple stack or even uh quadruple stack i don't know if you can yeah if you do an additional you're able to really really get a high high end of defense now of course this is after super attack so this unit is definitely going to be much stronger uh, in a second position versus a first position but in the beginning stages when this unit kind of starts to build up he can do okay in the first spot um, especially in like i said in the first three turns so the passive skill here the zero mortals plan recovers 15 percent which is uh, very useful these days of hp and then uh, keep us to and and defense only defensive only just to start off start off with at 50 percent at the start of the turn so this is all you get when you start but then for your first three turns, you're going to get an additional key plus two, 50% and guards against all attacks for these three turns. So in the beginning, it's going to be able to, uh, you know, tank a little bit, right? In the beginning stages of, you know, certain red zones and stuff like that. But after the three turns, the losing guard uh, guard against all attacks and the additional 50% defense, that's where all these essays start need to be, you know, um, you know, boosted up here, stacking, you know, semi-stacking, and then also the rest of the passive needs to activate here. So uh, you get attack 100% when performing a super attack, and then plus an additional key plus one, up to four key, and then attack and defense 30% up to 120%. So this needs to be maxed out before you lose this. So really, it's not that hard. You're talking about, you know, four attacks that need to be received right for you to then get the maximum here so i would say even like for maybe one turn you might be just like crazy crazy defensive because you'll guard against all attacks and then have the defense 50 percent. but this will drop off unfortunately and when this drops off these things right here needs to take its place but now being in the first position uh, it might not be as strong as it was prior to having the guard and things of that nature. So again, really, really strong, you know, second or third position um, can handle certain things on first position, uh, especially in the first three turns. But then afterwards, got to make sure everything is, is um, you know, is stacked up and um, empowered up there. So. But, hey, there's more when it comes to how they develop this unit. And this is a fantastic, fantastic EZA and how they designed this, right? Because when you're linked up here, the thing about Goku Black units, right? When you're playing uh, the game and linking them with another Goku Black or Rosé, uh, something of that nature, you're getting like five to six links on here. Uh, especially you got Big Bad Bosses. So all these really help out 
um, this unit here. So Fear and Faith, Nightmare, Prepare for Battle, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. Again, super, super strong, and I'll show you kind of the link partners uh, in the next slide here. Uh, but uh, that's one of the reasons why people love this unit because the synergy with other Zamasu's and Goku Black's Rose's are very, very, very good. Now, the unfortunate side to this unit is that it's on very few categories. It's on six categories, which is like the bare minimum to the 80 plus to 90 categories we have in Dokkan Battle now. We have Realm of Gods, Batara, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Joint Force, and Worldwide Chaos. And that is it. And again, that is a kind of unfortunate uh, situation, and it doesn't seem like Dokkan's going to stop adding categories, right? That's going to con continue to uh, increase, and uh, you will have probably like over 100 categories by the end of 2023, but we'll see. We'll see if they're going to draw back on it and really start beefing up some of these other categories that... Uh, you know, are, you know, aren't as good or even as used in today's game. So anyway, that's the breakdown for the unit here. Good uh, overall, especially in the first uh, in beginning stages of this unit here. But once everything drops off, he's still very, very strong and uh, very fun to use. So the return of Elrond Rosemasu into relevancy on global has happened, and I'm very, very excited to uh, EZA this unit. Now, when you're looking at, I, I mentioned before, link partners, you have. A bunch of units here that you can get six links with. Now, if you're talking about the EZA Rosé and linking up with this unit here, that's a great partner to use due to the fact that uh, he's already, uh, Rosés are also uh, buffing you as well. So as a support unit for Extreme uh, extreme Class and uh, what else did he do? Uh, I think it's like Time Travelers or Future Saga. But in, in, in all honesty, he's fantastic as a support on this team. The biggest issue with LR Rosemasu and LR Merzamasu and all these other units, we really don't have a super, super strong leader, like a 200% lead that is going to maximize this. Uh, you can run this on you know LRGG team, but it kind of defeats the purpose of running LRGG when you have LRGG as the first position and then you want to link this up with another Rosé. Now, you could have LR Rosemasu as the second position and then have a rotating, uh, floating Goku Black, right? But then generally you're not going to have a, 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 a different floating Goku Black on the other rotation as well. So it's very... Uh, it's. They need an extreme class leader 200% for this unit here, possibly like a Realm of Gods or an EZA to the AGL Zamasu, stuff like that, that, you know, could possibly make this unit more relevant, right? So anyway, still great and fun unit to run. So you can see all the Goku Blacks you can run there. Well, boy, when Int, Goku Black, the transforming Goku Black, he EZAs, I can't wait for that to happen. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. So I think that unit's going to be a lot, lot better than what he is now. But then you have some other units here with five links. Um, LR Merzamasu being the newest one on there. When Rose easy, LR Int Rose Easy A's, he's going to be very good. And then some of these other units, unfortunately, corrupted. Corrupted um, Merzamasu is already Easy A'd, so he's not going to get better than what he currently is. And like I mentioned before, AGL, AGL, Merz, or AGL Transforming Zamasu. He doesn't provide five links when he first starts. It's when he transforms into Merzumasu in the second and third form is when he gets his five links with LR Rosemasu. So uh, these are generally your best link partners. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, we need to have a better leader or, you know, extreme leader for the overall setup for this unit. So anyway, let's talk about the team builds to go ahead and complete the fight for extreme z battle to easy this uh, area just like any lr easy a's fairly easy if you have the lrs right because uh in order to defeat the lr easy a's you should be running lrs and they're weak against legendary power anybody with that link there and then in this case scenario you're gonna actually take less damage if you bring battle of fate units so remember it just provides less damage those battle of fate units doesn't provide more damage, just less damage on defensive wise, and then the legendary power units, the LRs, are the ones that are going to uh, do the most damage. So ultimately, what you want to bring is super int LRs, and fortunately for Battle of Fate, there are a bunch of super int LRs they can bring. So I would say this is going to be a fairly easy, easy A to run if you have the right units. So um, ultimately, if you just wanted to bring like a full int team, you can just bring LR. 
uh, GG. That that unit there is going to be your best unit for this event here. So, um, and then you can run a full int team here. You can run um, like a, I don't know yet. I'm bringing Cell because he's on Battle of Fanny's int. That's really the only reason why. <laughs> so uh, probably wouldn't do it if it wasn't just a, f a full mono team here. But um, you know, LR LR Mizumasu and Cell, yes. Yeah, that's the only other option you have when you want to run a full uh, int team here. Now, if you want to run a more relevant and um, better overall team, you might want to run something like this. As a full super team is probably what I would recommend. Uh, I think the Namek Goku is going to do quite well uh, on this stage here. The um, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is going to do some damage. You can even bring some... Uh, non-type advantage units like the seven year anniversary super saiyan 4 uh, goku and vegeta you can bring easy a vegeta i i did kind of put the easy a uh, super saiyan 4 goku aside because he's type disadvantaged being that this unit is a, it's a tech unit here so but of course you still can bring that unit it's just i'm just this is the probably the team that i'm going to be running right here maybe bring god ku in I uh, wish he easy ate already because they would make, make it even a lot easier. But generally speaking, you can have a couple of different options. You can bring the easy A Vegito Blue, the free to play one. Um, you can bring, uh, you know, the Angel Vegeta, I guess, if you wanted to. So uh, I, I typically wouldn't recommend you bring in the AGL units unless you have to, right? So UI Goku, MUI Goku, um, Kamehameha Leader, uh, LR Gohan, and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Kind of just, you know be on the wayside just in case uh, if you don't have a particular LR but LRs are going to be the most important thing but if you don't have LR GG and you still want to run a battle of fate team like a full battle of fate team and you have to bring a um you know a TUR leader then you should then you can go ahead right you want to bring in the Goku or the Boo now here's the thing with the Goku if you bring Super Saiyan 3 Goku you can bring a friend LR GG because he is on bond uh um bond a parent and child right so he's able to uh, still get boosted from the um uh, the lrgg leader skill as a friend now if you're bringing kid boo on the other hand you would not be able to bring lrgg so i wouldn't recommend boo but i would still if you don't have lrgg just bring in super saiyan 3 goku and run lrgg as a friend so hopefully that makes sense anyway um, so that's a team that you can run. Let's say you don't have LRGG or some of these other units on here or don't even have Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Then you might have to kind of do kind of a roundabout battle of fate type of team. So you can maybe run like these two teams here, like kind of Super Saiyan 4 teams, um, you know, you know fused fighters and GT heroes team here is what uh, you can see uh, I'm running on the top one. At least you're able to bring, you know, two LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta's. So that's that's at least welcome there and then when you're looking at unfortunately if you're gonna be like running a goku's family then you have to bring like two super saiyan 4 gokus and they're not going to do as much damage due to the fact they're type type disadvantage and could possibly take uh way too much damage for you as well you also have two other sub leaders you can run you can run kamehameha all these units you can see on the second row here they're all kamehameha so you can run if you don't have the lr super saiyan 4 goku you can run the um the Kamehameha leader Gohan has 170% lead. Uh, the nice thing about EZA Super Saiyan 4 Goku, it is 180% lead. So you get a little bit of a, additional boost there. Uh, and then you can also run a sub leader as 150% pure Saiyan's lead with the uh, the Godku as well. So yeah, you can run a couple different options, but all in all, if you're <laughs> if you're getting to this point, it's going to be a little bit harder. Hopefully, you have you know like this team here or these versions of this team here to make it a lot easier. Now, for if you want something crazy challenging, then you can go full free to play. So full free to play, what you're going to be doing is you're going to bring a leader like um, the uh, the free to play uh, newly easy aid. I should have had an easy moniker here. Let me go ahead and do that really quick. Easy A Vegito Blue, there you go. So Easy A Vegito Blue, then you're gonna bring a bunch of t that you're gonna hope to survive. <laughs> and then you're gonna bring LR GG as a friend, right? So Vegito Trunks is your friend, he's gonna be your damage dealer. And then you're just gonna try to survive every other rotation. Uh, if you do have the 2000 day Goku and run at 120% there as well, you can do that as well, but both of them are free to play 120% uh, um, leaders that's this is going to be tough this is going to be a lot harder because you don't have free-to-play lrs except for those two leaders that i mentioned there 
to run to beat the stage as a full free-to-play team. But bring a bunch of int units on here, all Battle of Fate, take some less damage. Uh, that 8-bit Goku is going to get wrecked, but <laughs> I couldn't find another option. Couldn't find another int unit that you can bring on that's free-to-play to run. So uh, let me know if you you know have some suggestions but uh, yeah this is very very difficult here so um, this team here is a team that uh, it's gonna be tough for you to do but if you want to challenge uh, feel free to rock and roll and let me know if you complete it in the comment section below and then uh, secondary teams you can bring but really an LRGG team at 200% for these are, are just gonna be just so much better so anyway let me know what team you're gonna be running in the comment section below hopefully this helped out here and uh, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.